And here I want to go over a big idea in math class, in science class, and then in woodworking. It's kind of the same idea using a lot of different applications. And it's the idea of exact value versus approximate value. So an exact value is always a better answer um, because there's no rounding involved. An approximate value is the exact value put into your calculator and then rounded. So an exact value would be a half. The decimal approximation of it would be 0.5. The, if you're working with circles um, or radians, the exact value would be terms of pi. So the exact value would be pi. The decimal equivalent of it would be 3.14 or wherever you wanted to round it to. If you're working with radicals, the, the exact value would be square root of 2 or its decimal approximation 1.4, 1.414. And in math class, exact values are always better answers because usually the problem is checking your conceptual understanding and if you leave it in an exact value answer like on a 30, 60, 90 triangle and you're asked the sine of 30 or the sine of 60, sine of 60 would be uh, root 3 over 2, that's always better than the decimal approximation because it shows that you know that triangle and it shows that you have understanding of that idea. Um, so exact values are always better answers. The majority of the answers in a SAT standardized test will usually be exact values, not decimal approximation. In science, it's a really important idea as well. A big part of science is collecting data and, um, and presenting that data in reports. And significant digits and how you round is really important in science. So if you leave your answers in exact values, you don't have any rounding issues at all because the reader of your data will be able to convert that into however many significant digits they want. And then in woodworking, exact value is a really big idea as well. Um, and it, this is kind of a hard to get until you build a lot of projects. But as an example, my daughter wanted me to build her a Lego box. She doesn't really care how large the box is, but what she does care, what I care about my craftsmanship, is that it's perfectly square. So let's say the box is going to be 2 foot by 18 inches. I mean, there's a level of inaccuracy whenever I measure. I might measure really accurately, but it's still to the 16th or 32nd of an inch. Um, so my measurement will always be an approximate value. But what I want to do is I want to match opposing pieces by creating fixtures so that they'll be exactly the same. So even if my length is 2 foot and I'm a 16th over, if I set up a stop block and cut my two opposing pieces on that same stop block, it will be exactly the same even though my measurement is approximate. So what's really important in woodworking and, and house building and construction and actually building anything is true plumb and square. So you never give an inch on true plumb and square and the way you make sure things are true, um, that you, true means right angles across the whole box plumb meaning that it's perfectly vertical and square an individual angle is 90 degrees. The way you do that is you create systems to make exact values. So as I'm building this box, I'll measure one board and I'll cut it a little bit long and then I'll take those two boards, put a fixed stop and cut them together so that they are identical. Then the other two sides I cut together so that they are exactly the same length, making sure that the box is going to be true plumb and square. So Exact value, again, you're not using a calculator at all. You're just taking the actual number or the variable that represents the number, uh, not the variable, the letter that represents the number. Uh, approximate, you've entered it in your calculator and you've rounded. So these are approximate value, means decimal approximation. Exact value means without a calculator. It's a big idea in math and in science and in making. Um, hopefully that helps explaining what exact and approximate is all about. Thank you.